Hello, uh, this is Hasib Hassan from Bangladesh. Uh, today I'm going to present my paper, Smartphone Application-Based Agro-Advisory Service for Farmers and Innovation for Bangladesh. This paper is basically uh, uh, trying to find out the problem, uh, whether there is a linkage with the agriculture expert and farmer can be possible or not. So my co-author is Mr. Sadman Sadi, who is also working in this, uh, who also worked in this research. So Bangladesh agriculture. Their agriculture is a major source of livelihood for the people of Bangladesh where 60% of total population really depend upon agriculture and 19% total GDP contribution is coming from the agriculture. But interestingly, uh, the Department of Agriculture Extension, which is the public uh, extension department here, has only 1440 field level extension agent for these millions of farmers. So, one extension agent has to serve 1,500 farm houses in his jurisdiction. Quite surprising. So, private sector also actually didn't develop that much infrastructure to provide extension services at the field level. So, what is the challenge to link farmer with this agriculture extension? The extension officer, they are working in the field very uh, hardly but they have only six dollar per month to give public extension for these 1500 farmers so there's lack of uh, communication and transfer facility, uh, facility for them and they do not have any foundation training when they start working in the department so the knowledge base uh, basically do not go up do not get updated uh, quite fast because they do not get any sort of foundation training and there is a scarcity of agriculture officer that means bsc agriculture expert in the village level that is why when farmer face any sort of problem they go to input seller for extension messages so what is written in the national agriculture extension policy one of the core principle is e-agriculture where they said about using mobile and web, te web technology to disseminate agriculture information to farmers they also talked about farmer information advisory center that means it's a sort of agro based telecenters from the government and these telecenters as ict services they also talk about uh, mobile based text messages and voice messages to farmers for early warning system and the ict infrastructure is uh, quite impressive in bangladesh 119 million people are using mobile phones uh, where 98% areas are under mobile network coverage and people are enjoying their 3G and 2G services even in the remote places where 40 million people are subscri subscribed to internet services. So what are the current digital agriculture extension services? Let's see, uh, there's a department called Agriculture Information Service. They have a website but contents are not systematically addressed there. If you place a query, you will never know when you are going to get the answer of that query because the system is not in place, the platform is not that much mechanized. And there is a toll free call center from the government which is a quite a good initiative but they have lack of their content. They have only question bank of 5000 answers for the farmers. There are two community radios from the government who provide agro-based services uh, in the community, but they are not covering the whole country. Telecom operators also have call centers, but their their call rate is huge. And there are two public bodies like Rice uh, Bangladesh Rice Research Institute and also Fertilizer Recommendation Institute. They have their own portal, but you can access this portal if you are a researcher and if you are an academician because farmer doesn't have any laptop or desktop to access the support. So how an agri-advisory service can be built through farmer query system? Uh, let's see. The farmer's query system is an ICT solution where a farmer can place agriculture query directly to an agriculture expert sitting remotely. An intermediary or intermediary is recording the farmer's problem through a mobile application, that means on a smartphone application, because he or she is bearing a smartphone or device. So after placing that query, an agriculture expert can see the main agriculture problem, including the GPS and also the pictures, and can place direct phone call to the farmers 
an SMS or email to him. So these are the users. Government extension agent is using the farmer query in our research, what we have seen. Private extension agents like telecenter agents and input sellers, community worker, those are field facilitator of the project we researched on, and also self-entrepreneur, the telecenter agent and innovative farmer who are very much tech savvy. So uh, this is a system farmer placing a query through intermediary and agro-expert and agro-expert in return placing a call to the farmer. So to see the, uh, to know the farmer query system in detail, let's see a video here. The objective of the study was how a smartphone application uh, basically can solve farmer's problem through an ag agriculture expert sitting remotely and by giving real-time information to the farmers. So in our study, uh, we basically, sorry for the interruption, in our study, uh, we basically uh, see that in four of the project location, we have studied under and 22 users basically use their farmer query mobile applications and the density of farmer was 13,000 and the data source was basically the primary data coming through the mobile application query and uh, the case, we did some case study as well to understand the satisfaction level of the farmers and also the extension agents. So these were the initial results. Total 1,585 queries has been happened during this four months period of launching of the farmer query. And as I say, 13,000 farmer were covered in this place. And interestingly, uh, ICT, ICT leader, that means the farmer themselves placed 14% percent of queries and that is a significant promises here. That, that is why uh, this project is planning to scale it up this application with the farmer themselves who actually resides in the uh, village level and most of the uh, queries actually placed by the AICC that means agriculture information communication center agent here they are the agro-based telecenter in the community and 
we asked the farmers about how many crops uh, you are addressed and also got the information from the digital data that 34 percent of total queries are coming on rice but this mobile application basically worked on six value chain crops and rice was not one of those so this project is also planning to uh, include that uh, uh, into that thing and 26 percent query are coming through other crops not on the six value chains crops so though there's a learning that uh, this project needs to add more crops because they are not covering all and we also have seen the problem patterns of query we have seen that 763 queries coming on pest and disease attack because those areas are salinity regions and because of salinity and climate change condition uh, most of the pests and disease basically acted because in southern region of Bangladesh the main one of the major source of income for the farmers is shrimp cultivation and if you want to cultivate shrimp you have uh, the entire soil gets degrading uh, degrade through this salt water so secondly we have seen the 80 uh, 289 queries is coming from uh, for fertilizer recommendation then we also studied the satisfaction level of the farmers and 76 percent farmers were said that they have applied the recommendation coming from the agriculture call center that means the through the query system fqs system and 79 percent of those farmers are satisfied with their uh, support and with their recommendation and farmer is believing on agriculture's feedback from the call center because they know that that intermediary is basically backed by an agriculturist in the system and previously they had to go to the input seller and if they find any extension agent they have to ask the extension agent but those extension agent and input seller are not PhD agriculturists are not agriculture expert that's why they actually were interested to uh, use this system so these are some of the case studies for, uh, we have found from the farmers. They are telling that almost 5 to 10 farmers coming for uh, intermediary service. And they are also proposed to list uh, some more major crops uh, in this mobile application. And some of the farmers are telling that they are getting effective solution. And one of the major problem uh, they found that uh, network there are some network dis uh, disturbance while uh, recording the query. Uh, that's why sometimes GPS location cannot be actually inserted in this application. So that's, there are some limitation. Uh, there are there are not available crop as I said, and many of the agriculture station uh, actually need physical presence. You cannot do all the things through technology, and sometimes GPS cannot be recorded because of weak network signal. Oh, the sustainability. This project is basically working with the government and they are planning to embed into government existing information system. That means existing agriculture extension system. So government is very much keen to take the system and they did an MOU with this project. And there is also a sustainability model through entrepreneurship model. There are total 4,514 UDC, that means Union Digital Center, Telecenter in Bangladesh, and also AgroBase AICC, Agriculture Information Communication Center. Those those telecenter agents are basically entrepreneurs. So this project is uh, is going to train, not going to train, is training them on to use those uh, application system and give the service to the farmers in return of a payment basis. And this project has seen a successful uh, sustainable business model case. There is a sort of uh, info lady, their informatory uh, from an NGO called DNET. They are working and giving some citizen services, health services through technology. And this project is adding this pharma query system with this uh, info lady services. And they are providing remote advisory services in the community. So for each query, these ladies are getting 0.2 US dollar from the farmers. So they are making, trying to make, build an ecosystem to, to, through this farmer query system in agriculture services.
so uh, that is that was my presentation if you have any question you can ask and i will respond to your answer thank you